I would really make it practical so that you can take back something from this presentation and literally implement it tomorrow uh, in your app. So I'm going to focus on hows rather than just what's and whys, because you can always read about online on what's and whys, and, uh, and probably you already know about, about the what's and whys. So how do you drive CRM combining multiple channels? So in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to cover how has CRM changed CRM change their uh, and the CRM channels and their use. A real example of combining channels. Actionable uh, learnings that actionable learnings that you can take from uh, the what we have tested out. And I have a surprise for you in the end. So hold on. Right. So you will see a bunch of QR codes uh, in the uh, presentations. All QR codes are scannable. It'll take you to the right uh, place. And you will also see. A bunch of emojis, uh, which you are feel free to take photographs of those uh, because you might just refer it sometime later and show it to your team, right? And these, this would be on the right hand side of it, the presentations, right? So, brief about me: I'm Saket, and I uh, head the CRM team at Levu. Uh, Levu is, a, for those who don't know, it's a, a social entertainment app that uh, reduces loneliness. And we have millions of users. And um, I, uh, I focus on product monetization and uh, user engagement. And uh, prior to this, I have, w and uh, Levu is a part of Meet Group, and here are some numbers. And uh, prior to this, I worked at 360 Dialog, which is a mobile marketing agency, uh, helped a bunch of clients with CRM, um, customer lifecycle journeys, mapping, all that stuff. I was also working at Philips Lighting. Um, responsible for their uh, Hue stores and e-commerce, like those color-changing bulbs. Uh, and I also founded a, e a, a startup, which was uh, focused on like a marketplace to hire career advisors when preparing to study abroad. Right. Uh, so to know more about me, that's uh, the QR code for my LinkedIn. Right. <laughs> right. Cool. Uh, so all the things that I say here are mine uh, and not relating to company. So I'm supposed to say that. The rest you can read. <laughs> right. Uh, so what is CRM? So C the definition of CRM from customer relationship management has changed a lot over a period of time, specifically for consumer app. It has more at customer retention management than the original definition of CRM. So let me break it down uh, a little bit more. So customer retention management is user retention management and customer monetization management. So it's a combination of both that I say, because you have you just don't have to get users, but also have like and to retain, but also monetize. So that's a very, and I will go more in depth how we did it. Right. So what is CRM now? It's not like uh, sitting in a department and sending out a bunch of campaigns and a bunch of email and then making a presentation out of it like you had 7,000% increase or something like that. It's not like just uh, doing something that, uh, that you ha it's much more product driven than just like I would say marketing driven. <laughs> right. So CRM is definitely not this. <laughs> and, uh, and if you pester your users too much, uh, they're most likely going to delete the app, specifically millennials. And the research shows that. Right. Uh, so what is mobile CRM channels and how you can use this? So there are multiple channels. Uh, and I would go one by one. First, let's start with push notifications. So the goal of push notifications is to get the users to a specific part of the app uh, in order to perform a certain action. So it, it can be used for monetization, engagement, for different sorts of ways, but I'll show you something which probably very few of you have used it here, but it's a very, very uh, cool thing. This is where push notification is directly deep linking to App Store and Play Store. So this is uh, really cool, which uh, I feel like very less people actually take advantage of. Um, and because if the, your users know about the pricing, you can directly deep link to Play Store and App Store using emojis. Uh, use first, um, use also like people talk about blah, blah, about personalization. I'm like, start at least somewhere wh where it's your first name uh, and at least with some user attribute rather than going too much AI and personalization. Just like start with basics, right? Web push, it's a good channel if you have web traffic, and it, but it has low opt in rates in general. Uh, 
email email is can be really impactful when if you combine it with uh, if you combine it with push notifications specifically you can get a lot of users back uh, to your app uh, and uh, email well used can be like a very strong weapon for your CRM and uh, so emails are rich in explanatory content for rich and explanatory content uh, to reactivate push opt out users uh, and also it's easy to share and refer back so use it uh, for that right so we did a lot of we tested a lot of in app messages and in app campaigns at levu so this can be from cyber week that increased our revenues uh, significantly week over week and then also increasing payer share uh, it can be with uh, uh, in-app dialogue, converting new payers at a discounted price. It can be also things like um, getting users to vote to win the best uh, app of the year. So we won the 2018 best user voted app of the year. So we tested uh, for monetization, user engagement, and it can be for feature rollout, experimentation, testing different ideas. And I like I think Wal just talked about like uh, A-B testing. So and I work very close with them with him and it's really cool. So uh, app inbox and uh, in-app messages is also an important channel, which is um, to if because in push and e in app your message goes away but you're in a, uh, in app inbox you can keep your message and then refer it back and also uh, it's for users to perform action sometime later at their own control so you don't have to use it but if you use it use it well right sms good to send otp and password uh, reset <laughs> framework to decide which channels to use <laughs> right so uh, this the first is urgency versus rich content this depending on which how urgent is your message and how much written explanatory content you want you send the uh, you find the channel you want to pick then is opt-in rates and previously clicked platform you this means that where do you have opt-in email push or do you have it in um, uh, where do our users clicking or where users are using your app so depending on their last actions or you have opt-in rates you use that platform uh, then it also depends upon your app category which is super important because uh, different apps have different not star different ways of engagement different product life cycle uh, and so yeah your app category and then life cycle phase of the user and the way the user engages in your product also depends on what channel you use. So, but CRM is not about just channels. It's orchestration, analytics, optimization, experimentation, automation, processes, channels, and like using triggers, segmentation, for, and not just like taking a step back and thinking how it can be solved strategically, as well as how it can be solved tactically and to reach certain metrics and goals. So let's recap. So far, we have covered CRM as user retention and monetization management, mobile CRM channels and their use, framework to decide which channels to use, and CRM is not just about channels, but much more than that. Next cohort is cohort activation and monetization. So at Levu, our uh, like new users, cohort activation can look like something like 70 different ways, the different users, how they come in, and then th they interact with the app. But uh, let's get into some specifics, probably which you're not doing. 40% uh, of your app install never actually register. So, but in Android, if you know, you already have 100% uh, push opt-in as soon as they download the app. So you can send them push notifications if they're, they're not registering after a day or two of, uh, and take advantage of in increasing more registration, reducing your costs uh, of in uh, per reg. Right, um, app onboarding. So many companies do this mistake as to as soon as you're completing the re registration with registration complete event, you have this onboarding email popping in. Uh, so delay your onboarding email 15 minutes, give some excitement in your onboarding email, and uh, incentivize your onboarding um, email so that you verify their account as well as uh, they, you can get push opt-in. So we give 25 credits. Right, um, this is very cool specifically for apps that have subscriptions or in-app purchases uh, as main. As soon as you convert the registration just before, even before onboarding, if you can show a dialogue to convert them into uh, pairs, uh, it can increase your uh, it can increase your uh, number of uh, pair share. And like for us, it really, for day zero, it helped 11% increase. 
Yeah. So now actionable learning that you can really take back uh, and start implementing tomorrow. One of my favorites is increase push opt-in. Pain point for a lot of apps. What you can do, simple hack like doing uh, is go back, create four GR tickets first for your backend. Uh, okay, uh, four GR tickets backend, uh, two front ends, and one for the copywriter. It's basically uh, as soon as the user. If you know that user does not have an opt-in, you show it, and you can directly deep link to allow notifications. And, and if, if the user doesn't press across, then you show it after a few days. Yeah, this can increase your push opt-in. Uh, using tools to automate CRM channels, this is a QR code for, to read my article on uh, the right questions to ask while uh, choosing a CRM, CRM platform. Right, use GIFs in your email. Uh, this can increase your CTR significantly, specifically uh, in the header. Uh, then delight users in unexpected ways. This is uh, how, how it might sound simple, but it's very important to like delight them with some surprises, like sending them Thanksgiving rather than just Christmas and uh, New Year's where everybody sends an email. Uh, yeah and uh, with some excitement around the emails. Show POS after ads. A lot of apps run ads. After the user clicks an X, uh, show the POS so that the, you can uh, upgrade that user to premium as after the, the ad is shown with the benefit of no ads. This can work. Yeah. Uh, then read this article on uh, best practices uh, to dramatically have a better messaging. Uh, through your push notifications and messages, in-app messages. Yeah, this has 35 tips. Then do stuff that matters. Like I tell so much to people. Like you, uh, like a lot of. Uh, like, look at your calendar last six weeks. If at least 20-30% um, of the time, uh, of the time, if you're working on stuff that you can probably go and say to your users, "Hey, I'm working on that," then you're probably doing the right thing. So like do stuff that matters to users. Like. That's so important, right? So to summarize, these are the points and also some bonus points. Okay, right. One last thing, uh, the surprise. Uh, so I'm I'm releasing this course course called the Mo Complete Guide to Mobile CRM: uh, The What, Why, and How. So if you want to register uh, and get, it's a three hundred dollar, but it's free. The the coupon code is uh, Tell a Friend. Yeah, so this is the right moment to take out your camera if you haven't. So it's called Tell a Friend, so you can always tell your colleagues about it and register for it. This is the QR code for that. And you just you don't even need a QR code scanner. Just a camera is fine. Yeah, And uh, scan for it, and you will get it uh, when you uh, register for it. Yeah. Uh, it'll be in Udemy. Yeah. And so we covered user retention, monetization management, CRM channels and their use, uh, examples to implement monetizable omni-channel uh, campaign, some actionable learnings on what you can take back to your team and implement, and you have the access to the complete guide to CRM that I just, I'm just publishing next week. Thank you.